can't chop that down. But I can jump over it and not get impaled. What the hell? I cannot enter this village. Welcome to Bad Elephant Gaming. I'm Tom, and we're here with something different. Usually Josh and Becca are up here playing Fortnite on Fridays, but I got a pretty interesting piece of news over the weekend. The Northman, the upcoming Robert Eggers movie, the director of The Witch, The Lighthouse, his brand new Viking violent revenge epic with Alexander Skarsgård, Anya Taylor-Joy, Nicole Kidman, Ethan Hawke, Willem Dafoe, and Bjork. All those people are in it, and it's coming out this Friday, and over the weekend, Focus Features, the distributor of the film, said, Hey, we uh, we actually have a, a, a full-blown RPG, a 20-hour RPG that was made in the creator mode of Fortnite, and is playable right now. So, um, this is, like, completely up my alley. This is, like one of the most Tom things I think Fortnite has ever freaking done. So we're gonna check it out. We are going to see what this new RPG called Vengeance is. You look around, there's no way to know whether the ship is safer. It was operated by your uncle's allies. You must escape without being discovered. Oh, okay. There are many dead ends, but only one escape. Oh, uh, is the escape route uh, the big arrow that's just right in front of me? All right, so they're asking me to be stealthy. And they're also just giving me the path to freedom. Can't break anything. Okay. Can this text go away? It'd be cool if this text could go away. Is it really a stealth mission if they're just... Oh, okay. So, I see cones. Cones of light. And I guess those are like alerts. These Vikings have an automated alert system, it seems. So... Can I get off the ship here? Jump overboard. I have to hit a button to jump overboard. Talk to villager. Oh. So, oh, this is... I mean, I've never interacted with Fortnite creator mode before, so I guess I just wasn't ready for this. I thought there would actually be some people. But I guess all the NPCs are actually just going to be cardboard cutouts with dialogue attached to them. Oh, look, it's the unique and distinct character, the Master Angler. You catch your first small fry. Go present it to the Master Angler. Man, this is the most epic RPG of the year, I tell ya. Way better than Babylon's Fall. So this is the Pokemon Legends Arceus section, where I have to go on a three-hour tutorial. You may train here. The more agility you have, the easier it will be to travel wherever you wish. Okay. Start. So am I supposed to jump? Nothing like platforming in a game where the focus never explicitly was platforming. I fell. Time to do it again. Wow! Josh complains about sliding in Super Mario 64. Literally just slid off the edge of that. Alright, that's cheating. There's literally no way you can do that. Why can't you ledge grab? I cannot learn anything here. Now you're right about that, Fortnite. There is nothing to learn within you. If this is, like, what the opening of The Northman is, I, I'm gonna cry. I don't want this to be... I don't want this to be what movies are. Can I stop? Hair sir of agility. Can I stop? Alright. Screw agility. I don't... I'm out of here. I don't care about this course anymore. Uh, home village. Let's go to the hunting outpost. I'd like to hunt instead. Anything is better than having to do this crap. This. Got some mushroom. Cool. Cool. And that just goes into our backpack. Blue mushroom. So it's not like in the game where you can eat it and get some shields. Because there are no shields in the north. Thing. There's just blood and vengeance. Alright, can I... Alright, can't, can't chop that down. But I can jump over it and not get impaled. What the hell? I cannot enter this village. Ugh. Ah, oh, the chicken of destiny. Here we go. This is this is what the role that Willem Dafoe plays in the movie, clearly. Is there a cardboard cutout person to give me a quest? Oh, what's this? What's this? Honey? Shield? No, I have the honey. Cannot do that now. What? Oh, I need two honey, two mushrooms, 
and two fibrous fibrous herbs. All right. Oh, can I talk to you? Hello? Hello? Speak to me! Oh, hey, I got a weapon. Oh. oh. I hear a dog. I hear an evil outdoor doggo. First try. My hunting level is not high enough to receive any resources. That's fucking rude. Hey, blah, blah. Huh. Oh no. The witch cast an invisible wall. I can't get to this island. Oh. They feasted on llama here. Otherwise, I'm just so bored because everything interesting has some kind of invisible wall around it. Wow. Realistic floating grass, just like in the Northmen. Oh, it's another agility course. Let's, uh, let's go try the agility course again, because it's not like there's anything else to do. Either the game's just, like, soft-locked here, or... Or I don't know what else, like... It's really, really just bad design that you're stuck in this very unpleasant, unplayable course. And they're not going to open any other side quests until you finish it. Let's try. Alright. Maybe I can just skip that entire... Alright. Alright. Let's, let's keep it going. I actually feel really bad that, you know, a movie from a director of that quality has something so piss poor attached to it. Couldn't even get out of the tutorial section because you have to advance through a platforming area that is incomprehensible as a platforming piece of gameplay. So don't recommend absolute trash. 